Uh, word number 17. I don't even know how to say this. How do I say that? Cypriform. Do you still remember how to spell that? Yeah. Go for it. C Y P R A E I F O R M. That's 11 letters and three vowels in a row. It's not every day you get to meet one of your idols. So thank you for hanging out with me, Nihar. Well, it's not every day I get to meet the best interviewer in all Texas, so. That's the sweetest thing. Thank you for saying that. This is such an exciting time in your life. You recently set a USA record. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Let me fill people in. You have now won the Nat Geo Geography B and the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Yeah. And you were the first person ever to do that. Yeah. What did that teach you about yourself? It just taught me that if I put uh, myself towards like a lot of effort and dedication, I can get to wherever I want. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what I want to do with my future, like solving the big problem of Alzheimer's yeah. and helping people that are suffering from that. Do you know what the odds of winning the competitions are that you participated no. in? Let me give you a window. Let me give anyone at home a window. Winning the Scripps National Spelling Bee the odds are one in 11 million. Winning the Nat Geo Geography Bee it is one in 2.5 million. And you won both. When I first got to know you, it was watching the Scripps National Spelling Bee because that's like my personal Super Bowl. <laughs> Anybody that knows me knows that. At that time, you were just what, 11 years 11, old? 11, yeah. And you were the youngest person ever to win that. Yeah. Give us a window into that experience. Since I was 11, I didn't really care because I had like so much time ahead of me, even if I didn't win that. That time, I was just aiming for like top 10, but then I just pulled myself through and got there. It Casual. was really it's like, awesome. I was just, I'll help for top 10. <laughs> for someone who does not watch those religiously like I do, what is that environment like? It's kind of just like watching the Super Bowl, but much more like intense and competitive. <laughs> See, it like, is a sport. Cause like the Super Bowl is like four quarters and like sometimes in the first two quarters, there isn't really any action. But in the spelling bee, there's always action. So four quarters in football, how many rounds did you go through? Just in the finals, I went 27 rounds. But yeah. like total, it was way more than that. And so you're on stage for so long. How long are you up there? And the last day was the finals and that was eight hours or something. Eight, eight hours. That's like most people's work day. And I feel like when I'm watching you guys on ESPN, because this is broadcast on ESPN, by the way, nobody takes a water break. Are you allowed to drink water? I mean, they give like 30 seconds break in the middle, but then after ESPN, it says like, you guys have to get out. They just like go really fast and they don't give us any breaks. Your mind is just constantly on. Yeah. ESPN commentators nicknamed you the machine. Mr. Leffler called me the machine. He said it was because I had an average spelling time that was really fast compared to the others. And like I had, a, really good confidence. You were a co-champion and you guys went head to head for a lot of rounds. Yeah. What was that like? It was just like a really awesome time because I was spending time with my friends, but I was also competing. And that's those are like two of the main things that I want to do in my life. And you guys were holding that big trophy together. Yeah, it was so heavy and I was like really happy. And then I had to hold up a heavy trophy and I was How'd you feel on that last word? Did you know it? Or yeah, I knew it and I was so happy because like I knew I was gonna win. But then I didn't want to mess up because I was scared because one letter can change it. I mean, one letter can change your whole life. Wait, let's just give people a window really quick into that last word. I mean, do you remember it? Gazelle shell. <laughs> that is 12 letters. Can you still spell it? G-E-S-E-L-L-S-C-H-A-F-T. Wow. And what does that mean? A relationship between like contractors. Let me give you a few other words that were on that list of 39 rounds. Word number 17. I don't even know how to say this. How do I say that? Cypriform. Do you still remember how to spell that? Yeah. Go for it. C-Y-P-R-A-E-I-F-O-R-M. That's 11 letters and three vowels in a row. That is amazing. So after the script special spelling bee, were you just kind of like, that's not enough, I need more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you decided to compete in the Geography Bee. Yeah. How does that compare? The Geography Bee is really like an expansive field compared to the Spelling Bee. You really have to understand the concepts of the world. Well, how do you feel when I say the phrase, 
the Finmaker Plateau. Oh, the Finmark Plateau. Oh, I didn't say it right. Excuse me, it's the Finmark? Yeah. The Finmark Plateau. How do you feel when I say that? I just feel really happy because it reminds me of when I won and put in all that hard work. That was the answer to the winning question. And the question was, one third of Norway's northernmost county is located on what plateau? And you knew it. Yeah. So at that point, were you like, here. I got this? Yeah, well, with the Finmark Plateau, I actually didn't know the answer right when I got the question. Wow. I was debating between my answer and the other kid's answer. When you won, you dropped down on your knees. What were you feeling? It at was that kind of just like a spiritual feeling. Yeah. yeah. You won the GOB, but not too long before that, your dad had asked you to consider yeah. taking a break. It was really stressful for my family. We did spelling bee for a really long time together and it's kind of really a family effort because everybody has to coordinate with me studying. After I won, I proved to him that all of that effort was really worth it. And you're probably pretty happy you stuck yeah. with it. And he probably was too. <laughs> you have given some life advice. You said, nothing can defeat you except yourself. What did you mean by that? If you wanna do anything, you can do it. Yourself is the only thing that can stop you from doing something. And you're how old? Uh, 14. You also say, have fun no matter what. You want to look back and be satisfied with your life. What do you mean by that? You don't want to look back at your life and say, like, I didn't live anything that I wanted to do because you only have one chance to live. So mm -hmm. might as well make the most out of it. I still didn't finish my angle. I really want to like help people suffering with Alzheimer's. My great grandmother suffered from Alzheimer's and she passed away because of it. And I went to Longhorn Village and I saw like a lot of people suffering too right here in Austin. I saw how strong Alzheimer's is and I want to combat it. What's inspiring you to do all these things? The spelling me was I saw my sister do it and I was really interested in it and also like learning about the world. It kind of creates that next level connection with someone rather than saying, how are you? Like you can say, do you know this food or this dance? And then the GLB just even increases that. Like, are you from this city? Have you ever stood on this plateau yeah. before? <laughs> Why do you want to help people? I feel like the reason that we live here today is to help each other. It's so special. I mean, you were already my idol. I feel so confident with the direction the world is going, knowing that you're out there paving that path. Thank you. So you are probably studying and working hard, but like, do you play video games? Yeah, I play a lot of games. <laughs> I play this game called Fortnite. I've never heard of it. It's, it's like a shooter game where you can build. I'm kidding, yeah. Nihar. <laughs> the world is playing Fortnite. I didn't think you would also be playing it. And it sounds like you are interested in fencing too. Yeah. It's not as cool as Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get a chess? No. <laughs> That's impossible! You don't know how to play chess? I know how to play, but, but you're I'm not, not good. good. Let's play chess. Okay. This is good for me. <laughs> Thank you, DR. Maybe the life size.